what is going on everybody this is Josh back again with another video and today's video is going to be about you already know the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus Star Wars edition now I'm not a huge Star Wars fan I, I mean I don't even know the names of most of the Star Wars movies that came out I don't even know the name of the people besides like some of the main ones like Darth Vader um, uh, Luke Skywalker uh, Kylo Ren I know I, Yoda of course but I don't know that much of them. Now, that's not the whole reason why I bought this. The main reason why I bought this device is because it, it looks nice. When you saw the pictures of this, or I don't know if you've seen it or not. If you've seen the pictures of this, this thing looks nice. I like that black and red tone kind of color that it gives off. There's a lot of things that I saw about this that I liked so much that I had to get it. Now... As some of you might know, I am part of the Budget Boy Squad, so, you know, this is very expensive. It, it's about, you know, $1,300, $1,400 with tax, uh, and this is actually the Best Buy version. Um, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. So, I got this from Best Buy. So, as you can see, it's uh, 12050 if you activate it right there at Best Buy, but since I don't have AT&T or Sprint, I have T-Mobile, I can't do that there. So I basically ended up having to pay the $1,299 and that's $1,300. And then after taxes, you're paying about $1,400, uh, $1, somewhere around there. And um, I basically got the 256 gigabyte and this is what the phone basically looks like. I'm telling you, this thing, can I even click on it? Yep. This is what I liked a lot. Those earphones. I, I couldn't wait to see those. So, you know what? Let's, let's just look at the box already. So, I, I know you've seen a bunch of unboxing this. Of course, a lot of YouTubers who are pretty big are already reviewing this. But, you know, I can't I can't review it right away. I'm, you know, I ain't got that much money. So, I had to do, I had to finance this through uh, Best Buy. Uh, I have a Note 10 device, uh, which is actually financed through Samsung. So all my stuff is financed. None of it is paid for because I'm broke. So little by little, I'm paying things off, but I still got to review it because this thing looks amazing. So let's see if we can take a look at the box real quick. So it basically lets you know everything that comes inside the box, a leather cover, metal badge, um, Galaxy Buds, stereo headsets. So let's try to get this thing open. Let me go find a knife. Yo, I'm telling you, I'm really excited about this. So hopefully I don't mess up the box because this box looks pretty cool. Let me try to get it. Oh. If you're like me, you like to sell your devices after you're done with them. And you basically put them back inside the box. Try to give it that, you know, that feel kind of look. Looking like it's brand new. So let's man that looks sick oh you can see right there i'll show you the dark side all right let's let's look at it damn it even smells good you can see you can smell how new that looks let's see Wow, this feels really good. Yeah, it smells like, you know, when you buy those new shoes and they got that pleather on there. Supposedly, this is leather. If it's leather, this is some really good quality. Looks like it got that suede inside or, I don't know. It's suede to me. Let's see. This is pretty nice. I already got some smudges on it. What's that say? Lucasfilm? It looks nice. Yeah. It's definitely not plastic. Alright, let's put that away. Uh, nothing under there. Most likely this is your manual stuff. I don't really care about that. And this is what it actually says. Star Wars. Rise of the Skywalker. Now, I haven't even bought tickets to that because most likely I'm not going to watch that. 
Now, if we're, if we're talking Mandalorian, that actually is pretty good. I actually like watching that. That's pretty good. Now, how do you do this? Okay. Well, that's cool. Look. Got the little magnet. Is that magnet? Maybe? Yeah, kind of magnet. So, let's check this out. Got the Galaxy Buds here. And normally, if you buy Galaxy Buds, I mean, you already know what they look like. This is, isn't your normal box. Even if you buy some regular black ones, it'll show you the Galaxy Buds here. All of this is white, and it's basically, you know, your Galaxy Buds. So, let's take a look at this. Let me open this. Hang on. Uh, uh. Yeah, I normally get this as well. You got your uh, your cables in here, your earbuds in here, your ear tips. If you go on some Galaxy Buds, you know that they're actually really, really good. Battery life on them is really good. Even when you charge them, it's really fast. So it's pretty fast. Yeah, nothing really different about it. It basically looks like your average black ones. Yo, this looks nice right here. Let me show you a comparison of the ones I actually have right now. These are the white ones I got. You can see there's they're already scuffed up right there at the top. You know, they're all worn out. I basically put them in my pocket every day I go to work. If it was me, I would rather have these. When you put these on, they basically look like you got some Q-tips in your ears or uh, uh, some cotton balls, actually. It looks like you got some cotton balls in your ears. The the, the damn AirPods look like you got some Q-tips, but this is actually pretty nice. Man, I like these. And what sucks about it is that this is actually not for me. <laughs> this is for my wife, so... Hopefully she actually likes it. I tried to give it to her just the way I saw it. I just wanted to review it real quick. Here's the box. You already know. The box is also different. Normally it has that S pen at the at the front of it. This one is just all black. They're really they're they're going off on the dark side stuff. Let's get that out the way. Well, it's all of it. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. That looks nice. So currently my wife has the Note 9. And uh, she's been wanting to get the Note 10. But, you know, she doesn't know which one to go with. They did come out with the 10th anniversary one. Which did give you the watch and some earbuds but she didn't like the phone color it was the aurora glow and she'd rather keep it black so this one was the next best thing coming out plus you get some uh, gear buds for free and you got the star wars theme so she was actually cool with this that looks nice i like the way that looks i like this red right here Man, this looks nice right here. I like this. This is way better than the one I got. Let's see if we can power it on. Yep. Looks like we got some juice to it. All right. Well, that's powering up. Let's try to see what else is in here. Of course, they got this big ass charging brick. If you ever charge your phone with this Note device. Oh, hold on. Hold on. What? Man, look at that. Damn. My my video recording is not doing this really good. I'm, this thing looks amazing. The blacks look black. Let's the reds look dark as hell. This thing looks amazing. Guys, I'm telling you, this thing looks badass. So give me a moment. Let me try to set this up. So while this is setting up or getting started, let's... Damn. Okay. Okay. Let me, let me put you down a little bit. Let's see what else is in the box. All right. So... You got your, looks like this is the USB connector. 
Yeah, that way you can transfer data over. What else is in here? Got something else in here. I don't know what else. Like, no, there's something in here. Come on. Come on. Okay, yeah, I figured that's what it was. These are your uh, S Pen tips. They might wear out here and there. I've had my uh, Note 10 Plus for since basically it got released and I haven't had to change it out. So I might have to change it out here, here pretty soon. So let's put that back. And then, of course, you got your charging, charging cable. What's actually pretty cool about this is that this is actually USB Type C to, of course, the phone. USB type C so sometimes people won't end up jacking this from you because they'll be like well I can't use my charger for it so I might as well not even take it so luckily they actually switched this off and now they're doing this so you already know what that looks like and of course you got the headphones they got that black on them it looks exactly like the note 10 plus the regular like no theme one it looks exactly like that but I'm liking this, this is nice. I'll put that away for a little bit. So let's power this on. Man, that looks nice. I like that, every single thing is red. Got everything themed out too. Settings, ooh. Okay, actually, look, it has a little grid pattern as well. Yes, I mean, it makes a noise every single time you click it. So that must be just a Star Wars theme. That sounds like like the those little guns that they shoot. I, I'm sorry if I'm pissing off some of you Star Wars fans. I I really am. I really don't know much about Star Wars. This phone is just sick. You have to get it, even if even if you don't even like Star Wars, you have to get it. This phone is badass. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop annoying you guys. I like that. Now, I'm pretty sure most likely this is just a theme. Most likely you can actually go onto uh, the Galaxy Store and you can actually download this theme. I think you can. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't know. Every single thing is just themed of Star Wars. I would like this to be like black, black. It looks like a the charcoal black kind of thing. This is blacked out. Okay, at least you know when you've reached that certain type. Because normally when you're looking at a regular device, like let's bring out this tablet. When you're bringing out a phone like a, a tablet or something like this and you turn up the, the, the volume. Now the volume is going to be like this bluish color. And then once you get here, it turns red. I was wondering how they were going to do this. But it looks like they just changed it to, to like an orange looking color. See? It kind of brightens up a little bit. See, it just turns orange. It's nice. I'm not going to lie. I actually like this phone a lot. No, I don't want to do that right now. Man, this looks nice. <laughs> okay, that sounds normal. Man, this is nice. I'm not going to lie. Let's see the camera. Mm, nothing special with the camera. It's basically your normal one. Let's see. Yeah, nothing, nothing really special about the camera. It's, it's, it's usual. Let's see the swipe gestures. Okay. At least you can see almost every single thing that's themed out. Man, this is nice. Let's see, yep. I'm liking this a lot. Yeah, <laughs> man, this thing vibrates way harder than mine does. Hold up. Yeah. <laughs> This thing is sick. Let, let me see. Let, me, let, me, let, let you let, hold on, hold on. Let me put it on the floor so you can try to see, or the table so you can actually see how 
how hard it vibrates. Hold up, watch this. See, it, it vibrates. This thing vibrates pretty hard, especially if you have it in your hand. Yo, I'm not going to get tired of doing that. That is badass. That is sick. I like that. Man, I'm regretting not getting this phone for myself. Oh, well. All right, let's try out this case. Let's see what it looks like. And of course, it's raised up a little bit here. That way it doesn't touch the screen. And a little bit on the corners as well. But... This looks nice, man. I'm not going to lie to you. This looks sick. I like the way this feels right here. It actually feels like some like leather. I think it is actual leather, but it, it feels nice. I like it a lot. Man, this is nice. I like it. This is sick. I wish I could get that for myself, but of course I can't. Like I said, I ain't got that much money. I could only afford one. So... This is the Best Buy edition. If, if you get it through Samsung, which, you know, Samsung stuff is over already. I try to get it through them. I try to do a whole finance thing with them. I couldn't do it because I procrastinated too much and now I'm SOL. So with Samsung, I would have been able to do it for $36 or for 36 months and it'll cost me about $24 a month. But since I'm doing this with Best Buy, I had to finance it with them for 24 months. So you're looking at about $54 to $60 a month. Um, that's basically what I'm going to have to pay for the next two years until this phone is done being paid off. Best Buy is basically what you see in Samsung's stuff. You're basically getting the exact same thing in Best Buy's thing. So there's really no difference. It's just a price difference. Um, if you're with AT&T, Sprint, or uh, Verizon and you activate your phone there, you actually save $50, but since I ain't got none of those, I got T-Mobile, I couldn't get the $50 discount, and I basically just ended up uh, paying $1,400 with my Best Buy card. So I'll be making monthly payments on this for the next two years, but I think it's worth it. This phone is amazing. The, the, the Note device is one of the best phones that came out. It's an amazing phone. I mean, this whole thing... I think this is a Star Wars fanatic's dream to have something like this. It's nice. Every single thing of this is nice. You will not regret it if you do buy it. But if you are like me, you're going to have to put it on a, on a finance plan because, you know, it's too damn expensive. So that is it for this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's something you want me to check out. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.